leads to first and ten. This is a Johnny. And he stopped immediately there. J.J. Watt, the one that gets him down. He's fumbled already once, Charles. I'm not going to say that that was in his mind there, but I'm sure that during some of these plays, he is mindful of it. And once you fumble the ball, you know what your team tells you and your coaching staff? Take care of it. Rest of the game. And that does get in your mind a little bit, and sometimes that slows down your effort in trying to get free from tacklers. And the defenders know it, too. They sniff that out, don't they? Everybody wants to swarm the football. You know what the rule is. First guy, hold up the... And he'll be brought down by the Colts. Jabari Sheard in there to drop him and it'll be a loss of about eight that's a good sign early for the colts who had just 25 sacks last season people talk about back live with charles davis i'm brandon gordon it's the eagles with the ball here to begin quarter number two after the sack they'll come up now third and long yeah i wouldn't be surprised to see them run the ball here just to try and get some space wentz now to throw and he'll go out of bounds. Looks like right at the 15. It's a gain of five. And that'll bring up fourth down. Well, that's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath by all means. Taken right around the 44. Nearly a huge return as it is. Still a very good one. 24 yards and the Colts are set up well as they take over first and 10 on the short side of the field from the 32 now here's first and 10 hey, 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 hey. now a carry from back heck of a broken tackle and able to work this down near the 23 eight yards on the pickup and now they'll have some options on second and short you know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. On second down, here's Mahomes. On the move to his left. Man open left side is Brown. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. First time they've hooked up here. Good for 17 at a first down. On any given pass play, you never know exactly where your exit points are going to be. On this play, it was flushed to his left, still on the run, able to accurately throw the football for a nice first down. A nice pickup of six there to get him closer to the end zone, and it'll be second and goal. Looking to throw is Mahomes, and his throw is incomplete. T.Y. Hilton, the intended receiver, and that takes us from second to third down. Brandon, some of those windows that throw the football that exist when you're between the 20s, they don't exist when you're this close to the goal line. But as a former DB, I liked it closer to the goal line. Tighter windows made it easier to cover people, actually. Here's Mahomes, third and goal. And this is going to be incomplete. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available. And he takes it in for a Colt score. Daniel Brown, his first touchdown of the new season. And the Colts add on to their lead. How about that, partner? A little razzle-dazzle. Fake field goal that turns into a pass and a touchdown. Fooled everyone, including us. Benetieri connecting on the extra point, and that makes the score 21 to zip. Terry out there to kick this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. And some dangerous territory. You're already down three scores. A three and out here or an inability to put any points up. This one might be over by half. Yeah, and what you also have to guard against is calling every play for a big shot downfield. You know, thinking you're going to get all these points back on one drive. You're not. And last time I looked, it's still the first half. 
I'm not and saying you have the ultimate back. patience Offense. here, but you also don't have to go ahead and force everything either. That's a good chunk of yardage. It's going to be canceled out. And we always talk about hidden yardage in a game. That's going to count as that because now it doesn't go on the books, but now they have to make that up again, don't they? On first and ten, here's Wentz. And complete to Zach Ertz. And they're able to get this one across the 35. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. When you struggle on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. The connection here with Nelson Aguilar. Solid move, but he's corralled just beyond the 40. A gain of six there on first. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, you often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. Right back to him on first down. And he'll get this into enemy territory, but not by much as he's down to the 48. It's a gain of a yard, and it takes us to the two-minute warning. Two minutes to go here in the first half. We'll come back to Philadelphia after this. A reminder, once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. Wentz going to throw. And a reception made by Alshon Jeffrey. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. An eagle first down, Wentz hooking up with Jeffrey. He's been the forgotten man in this first half. Not a guy you want to forget. Not only his first catch, first time they targeted him. That doesn't make any sense, does it? Not because at all. those are the types of plays that he provides. When he does come alive, when they do look his way, not only is it a big catch, it's a first down. And he's going to take this one down to the 25. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. They'll run it now out of the gun. And shutting him off, now open field. Open space inside the 10. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Darren Sproles, his second touchdown on the season. And the Eagles get a score closer. Well, partner, that was another explosive run. And one thing I've learned in our time in this game, yes, the offensive line has to get a lot of credit. But for big runs to occur, the wide receivers have to block one downfield. And then you have to have a good guy carrying the ball too, right? Oh, without a doubt. You need that difference maker lugging the rock. This one taken just inside the 10. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They go play action here on first down. Oh, that was dangerous. Throw it into coverage, almost picked. But instead, they'll keep it on second down. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. Throw left side complete. It's Daniels. 16 yards to pick up there. The Colts have a first down. They go play fake. Mahomes flush to his right. And nearly picked off there. Almost intercepted. Instead, second down. 
You're down two touchdowns. You just know defensively you absolutely have to come up with a big play. That nearly was one right there. Looked over at the sideline immediately after the drop and just saw the dejection. They felt it. They thought he had it. Unfortunately, couldn't come up with it. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. Over the middle here, it's Hilton. And he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. A good pick up there, a 22. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. And that will be incomplete with a clock showing 18 seconds now to go. Sometimes the coverage is so good, no matter what you're doing on offense, you just can't shake anyone free. They try their best to find someone open, but they took away every passing alley, every angle, and shut the play down. Ball on the 30 as they come up second and 10. Z, 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 Z. They fake the give. Now Mahomes looking deep for Hilton. And he's got his man. It's Hilton for the Colts touchdown. T.Y. Hilton as the first half is winding down. And the Colts are able to grow their lead. I heard a coach talk about those late in the half scores, especially ones that give your team a pretty decent position. He said those could be the one. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. It took them an extra look, but they found out it is a touchdown indeed. The official says this one counts. Here's Mahomes to throw, eluding the pressure right. And he's got it. So the try for two successful. And that bumps their lead up even further. Oh so my god, Tyrion, you, you fucking god. Risky there it worked out. Yeah, and I love how you bring up that it can prove risky because if you